Now, in people with ambivalent attachment histories, what you see there is if I'm feeling hungry and my internal state is hunger and I cry out of hunger and you're my mom and you see that I'm hungry, but you yourself have a very anxious, ambivalent history and you really doubt your capacity as a mom. So you come to me seeing I'm hungry, really wanting to feed me, but being terrified of that you're not going to be able to do it and nervous and concerned and doubting your ability and you come with all this anxiety inside of, inside of you that I'm just hungry but now you're feeling anxious. So my mirror neurons, which probably should be called you know sponge neurons is really what it is, I'm not really going to so much mirror you as sponge in, just soak in your internal state. So I sponge in what's going on in you, I'm hungry but now since you're feeling anxious, I'm feeling anxious. There's no reason for me to have your anxiety, but because you have unresolved issues, you have leftover garbage, I pick them up. My sense of self then becomes very confused. All I know is, as a two-month-old, three-month-old, year-old kid, is I'm hungry. But now hunger gets neurologically connected to anxiety and uncertainty for no reason except from our interaction. So there's where the mirror neurons can make my internal sense of self confused. In the avoidantly attached kid, it's kind of disconnected. In the ambivalently attached kid, it's confusion.